Good day everyone, I'm here to discuss the history of Exxon Valdez oil spill. The Exxon Valdez oil spill was a man-made disaster that occurred when Exxon Valdez, an oil tanker owned by the Exxon Shipping Company, spilled 11 million gallons of crude oil into Alaska's Prince William Sound on March 24, 1989, it was the worst oil spill in the U.S. history until the Deepwater Horizon oil spill in 2010. The Exxon Valdez oil spill covered 1,300 miles of coastline and killed hundreds of thousands of seabirds, outers, seals, and whales. Nearly 30 years later, packet of crude oil remains in some location. After the spill, Exxon Valdez returned to service under the different name, operating for more than two decades as an oil tanker and ore carrier. On the evening of March 23, 1989, Exxon Valdez left the port of Valdez, Alaska, bound for Long Beach, California, with 53 million gallons of Frudo Bay crude oil on board. At 4 minutes after midnight at March 24, the ship stuck below the reef at well-known navigation hazard in Alaska's Prince William Sound. The impact of the collision tore to open the ship's hull causing some 11 million gallons of crude oil to spill into the waters. At that time, it was the largest single oil spill in U.S. waters. Initial attempt to contain the oil failed. And in the months that followed, the oil silk spread eventually covering about 1,300 miles of coastline. Investigators later learned that Joseph Hazelwood, the captain of Exxon Valdez, had been drinking at that time and allowed an unlicensed third mate to steer the massive ship. Environmental and economic impact in the Prince William Sound had been pristine wilderness before the spill. The Exxon Valdez disaster dramatically changed all of that, taking a major toll on the wildlife. It killed an estimated 250,000 seabirds and 3,000 others, 300 seals and 250 bald eagles, and 22 killer whales. The oil spill also may have played a role in the collapse of salmon and herring fisheries in Prince William Sound in the early 1990s. Fishermen went bankrupt and the economies of small shoreline towns including Valdez and Cordova suffering in the following years. Some reports estimated that the total economic loss from the Exxon Valdez oil spill to be as much as 2.8 billion dollars. A 2001 study found all contamination remaining at more than half of the 91 beach site tested in Prince William Sound. The spill had killed an estimated 40% of all sea outers living in the sound. The sea outers population didn't recover to its free spill levels until 2014, 25 years after the spill. Stock of herring once a lucrative source of income for Prince William Sound fishermen have never fully rebounded. Nearly 25 years later, what happened to promises made in the awaken of the Exxon Valdez, the Gulf spill might already be as much as three times worse than Exxon Valdez disaster.